done until there's just no, this is nothing left to, to fight about. Here's a fight Jasmer waged in Nashville, Tennessee, when he disputed a disqualification call against his truck. Okay, the question is going to be, watch the tire closer to the camera, does it touch the car he's going over? It doesn't look like he does to me. He tried to crawl his way back on. As you can see right now, our TNT officials all looking around the tape right now, and Rod Lipsow's there. And what they're looking at is the timing tape from that last run of Lipsow, where he was DQ. Well, a decision was made by a track official that affected USA One. The owner of that truck, Everett Jasper, is standing with me right now. Everett, your feelings on the call. I'm angry. As, I'm so angry I'm taken right now. I've never seen a run like this. It's the third time in a month we've had bad calls made on us. I've got a real major problem. I've got a driver. I've got crew members who are being affected by these cheating calls, and I'm not going to put up with it. Uh, I fight for myself. I fight for the other racers. I believe, in sincerity, I believe that I fight for what's good for the monster truckers as a whole. Uh, and a lot of times I've spent probably the last year and a half fighting for some things that uh, at this point I almost wish I hadn't. I wish I had been out building new trucks and getting, you know, I've lost nine, ten months because I've been fighting for some things that I think are for the good of the monster truck sport. on the racetrack between USA One and Bigfoot is legendary. But the rivalry goes way back to the late 1970s when Jasper idolized Bigfoot founder Bob Chandler and his blue board that got it all started. Today, Jasper and Chandler respect one another but disagree on several fronts, particularly on Bigfoot's high-tech advances in the sport. Here's Bob Chandler. Everett and I are a lot alike in... Uh the mechanical things of building trucks. Uh, he can build a dynamite truck. I can build a dynamite truck, I think. Uh, that's probably where our, our ideas, our parallel ideas change because uh, from that point, he likes drag racing. I like a variety of, of events. Uh, I think my truck can do the drag racing. I think it can do obstacles. I know it can do any other type of event that the, the trucks have done over the years. Uh, Everett is really pushed for straight line drag racing only. I feel that I can build any kind of truck I want, but I don't think I'm going to have anybody to race with if I go out and build a truck that nobody can race with. Because even those that'll keep trying, eventually they're going to burn out. They're going to either get go broke because they can't win, or they're just going to lose the, the drive. So Jasper believes that Bigfoot may ruin the sport if its high-tech trucks continue to get faster and faster. Is this just sour grapes, or is it Jasper's competitive nature, or is Bigfoot upset about getting whipped by USA One in 1988? Here's Chandler. Everett's very competitive. Uh, in fact, he and I are both very competitive. Uh, TNT had a rule set up uh, six months ago that required everybody to drop down in size of cubic inch motors to a 500 cubic inch. That was their, their maximum size starting uh, about a month ago. We're supposed to have that size limit. Uh, Everett Jasmer runs a 572 cubic inch motor and has five backups. About a week before the rule went into effect, Everett convinced TNT to change the rule to fit Everett. Now, there's a lot of guys out there that have changed their motors and spent a lot of money, including me, to downsize the engine uh, to be competitive and all of a sudden the rule got changed. I think it's unfair. Jasmer's reputation for fighting for what he says is the good of the sport obviously has set USA One back. He shoulders the blame for 1989. He could have been racing a new truck, competitive with Bigfoot, instead of spending time fighting the system. Sometimes I wonder about that myself. I, I lose a lot of ground fighting. Uh, Sometimes I say to myself, I should just quit fighting and go out and look out for number one and forget about it. Something inside of me keeps preventing me from doing that. And I keep, I believe, I really sincerely believe that down the road it's going to pay off. But yes, I've, I've proved it. I've just wasted nine, ten months of my life fighting. And I could have had a new truck done last year and been racing it. I could have had another new truck done this year. Uh, but I've been fighting the system. I don't know why that is. It's something, even when I tell myself not to, I end up doing it anyway. You can bet that Everett Jasper, Rod Litzow, and Steve Wilkie will return to the glory days of 1988. They'll battle Bigfoot to get there.
for Army Armstrong. I'm Scott Douglas. It's been a pleasure bringing you USA One, America's Monster Truck.